Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and you're almost there. It's episode 61. If you're watching this the day that it comes out, you're less than 12 hours away. I think tomorrow is release day for Tears of the Kingdom, which is, I think, at midnight tonight. That's 12 hours away uh, or something like that. Uh, maybe less, depending on where you live, etc., etc. Uh, you're almost there. You've almost made it. Welcome back. It's episode 61 of our blind playthrough of Breath of the Wild. And before we get started today, I have a couple kind of neat things to say. A uh, couple couple things to, to tell you about. I figured today being the last day without Tears of the Kingdom, we should celebrate this uh, momentous occasion. And also maybe you're looking for something to sort of, uh, uh, you know, to tide you over until the release tonight. Um, so we're actually going to put out an extra bonus episode of, t of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I almost said Tears of the Kingdom, uh, of the Breath of the Wild uh, in like six hours. There'll be two episodes today. Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna do this episode. And then the bonus episode is actually going to go kind of a different direction. I have an idea for what we're going to do with that. Um, but yeah, at 6 p.m. Eastern, uh, six hours from the release of this video, there will be another, another uh, episode. So if you're really bored and you're really impatient for Tears of the Kingdom, you can enjoy that. The other thing I was uh, going to say... Um, is I recognize that, frankly, this might be where maybe some some paths diverge in the lost woods of uh, this playthrough. Um, you know, I, I don't know this for a fact, but I think it's very possible that some people sort of leave this playthrough here now that Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Uh, so I wanted to say, if you're one of those people, you know, I just thank you very much for hanging out with us for the last 60 days. Uh, it's been my pleasure to help tide you over on the way towards this beautiful game. And I hope that Tears of the Kingdom is everything that you want it to be and everything that you dream it will be. I wish you nothing but the best. Go in blind or as informed as possible, but either way, go in and have a great time with it. Uh, one last thing before we get into this. I've gotten a question a lot recently uh, in the comments of the YouTube videos. And so I'm just going to say it at the very front of this video so that uh, I don't have to write a bunch of answers to it in the YouTube comments, although I'm happy to do that too. Uh, I've had a lot of people say, hey, Ryan, when you're done with Breath of the Wild, are you going to play Tears of the Kingdom? Hey, Ryan, when you're done with Breath of the Wild, what are you going to play next? Hey, when are you going to play Tears of the Kingdom? Uh, a couple things. One, I have no idea when we will play Tears of the Kingdom. My focus uh, for my own mental health is always on the game that I'm doing, and I don't like to sort of decide ahead of time what game is going to be next. The reason for that is that it keeps me from being burnt out. Um, if I know what game is next and that that doesn't happen for another 200 days or another three months or, or whatever, um, there's no like, you know, there's no room for me to kind of follow my heart or, or follow my motivation and do whatever I want to do next. I don't know that Tears, we're not going to play Tears of the Kingdom starting tomorrow. I don't know that we're going to play Tears of the Kingdom starting as soon as Breath of the Wild is done. I also don't know that we'll be done with Breath of the Wild in the next 200 days. <laughs> um, so, I don't know the answer to that question, and I won't know for a long time. I definitely think we will play... Hello! Oh, that just spawned right in front of the camera. I definitely think we will play Tears of the Kingdom, but it's it might be a little while. It's probably going to be a little while. I think that's all of the announcement stuff for today. Holy cow. Uh, let's get into this episode. Uh, welcome back to the Breath of the Wild. We, in the last episode, uh, we discovered this little tower right here, the Woodland Tower, uh, which allowed us to see the map for the Great Hyrule Forest, which is apparently called the Lost Woods, or at least this section of it is. Uh, and it looks hella interesting, and I am very much about whatever is happening right here. So today, we're going to wander into what looks like a fairy forest. I can't wait. We'll see what's around the bend here in just a second. Let's do it. I've been loving this music. Lost Woods. There's a gate, a doorway here. And if I know anything about like fae, fairy stuff, it's uh, thresholds and doorways have a uh, important part, play an important part in their like lore and mystery. Okay, we have a, it didn't look like that did anything. <laughs> We do have a series of torches. 
Oh, but there's also a torch there. Okay, so is this why it's the lost wood? Is because you can follow the torches, but you can still get lost? Oh, are you a fox or are you a fairy spirit? Maybe that's actually a fairy spirit. God, it's so pretty in here. And it's also so creepy, and I don't know how I feel about it. Hello. It also... Did I just die? I got sent back to the start. And Link made a scary noise. We did not... Interesting! We were swallowed by the mist. We did not lose health. However, God, that was really cool. That was really cool. We got kicked out. Okay, so this is kind of like a maze then. It appears if you wander from the path too greatly, you are sort of swallowed by the mist. Can you get back? There's also that laughing noise in the background. Oh my God, I have a feeling I'm gonna really like this. I love it so far. My camera in the right spot. I feel like that's better. Okay. So, you can't, it does not appear that you can cut across towards a light you can see. You have to stay sort of on the path. Right when we got swallowed the first time, I was about to say, it feels really strange to be following a path without doing any diversions in this game. Because I feel like this game has been so much of just like ignoring the path. Okay. Or like or like uh, deviating from the path is probably the right word. Like not ignoring the path. Because you kind of got to... I love the foxes so much. You kind of got to keep the path in mind. Or like use it as a good guide of what's next. Wait, but where do I go from here? Wait, I don't see the, the next lantern. I come to here. There's one very far that way. There's two very far that way. However... I don't know that I can walk that far out of the path of the lanterns. Okay, let's retrace our steps a little bit. We are allowed to retrace our steps. Was there a second path? That's where we came from. None of this. Okay. Am I supposed to? Is this where it's teaching me that I should take a torch? No torch on the ground here. However, if I have a torch... Which was the way we were going? I think it was that way. Yeah, it's right there. Can I wander into the darkness? Into the into the fog? Can I set all of the grass on fire? I mean, take that fog. I'm such a terrible person. Okay, if I put out the lantern, I have to test it. Am I gone? I'm not gone. So interesting. You can have a long pathway between two of these, like, braziers. Braziers. That's how you say that word. It's braziers. Now here, there is a torch. So, what are you trying to teach me? God, this game is so good. What are you trying to teach me? There's a deer right there. Oh, there's a chest in here. I'm going to be swallowed. I'm going to be absolutely swallowed, and I can't wait. Tom Bombadil, will you come out and help me here? Forest Dweller Spear. That's a Korok item. Is this where the Koroks live? The Koroks made this spear for the Hylians. Shaft is made from a light, sturdy wood, offering ease of use. Spearhead is made from a much harder wood, offering strength. I think I'm pretty goddamn full, unfortunately. And I like the sword better than I like the spear. 
I honestly think I'm okay. And before I hear a single comment about it, I keep the Korok Leaf because it's 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 just a, a superstition of mine. What if I need a leaf? What if I need a leaf and there isn't one to be found? And you say, no, the game always gives you what you need. No, that's not entirely true. Sometimes the game does not give you arrows when you need one. For instance, inside of the... Uh, Inside of the blue flame uh, uh, shrine. Most of the time, it gives you what you need. It's just superstition. All right, this is my lucky leaf. Get off my back. Can I set this ancient tree on fire and what will happen? I gotta try. It feels, this literally feels like the scene, I know I literally quote Lord of the Rings constantly, but it feels like the scene where they fall asleep next to the to the old oak tree or whatever. Tom Bombadil has to come and save him. No? Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess let's just carry our torch into the woods. Am I going to get swallowed? I don't know, but there's another hole here. Oh, God. These are so cool. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, there's another one here. These all have... Oh, my God. They all have holes in them. The thing is, I'm going to find... No! <gasps> that is a Korok voice. 100% that is a... Yeah, ha Except saying something different. I am in love with this area. Hestu, where are you, my friend? So there's still a path that you have to fo follow? <gasps> How does it work? Can I toss a torch inside of the tree and see what happens? I mean, nothing. <laughs> Nothing happens, is the short answer. And that's okay. Am I just meant to continue tr straight here? There's all these, like, tree mouths. Oh, shit. There's all these, like, tree mouths. Oh, they're so creepy. The last thing you should do is try and light these trees on fire, but it does seem kind of fun. You know? Okay, how would they tell you where to go? They would show you a torch in the distance, I think, right? That's what they've done mostly. Uh, uh, a brazier in the distance, right? Maybe there's an answer in some of these tree mouths. I don't feel like I should just set off into the mist one direction. Because the... that look like the fog was closing in on me? Yes. Okay. Okay. So there is a... There's a warning sign. As long as you go relatively slow, there's a warning sign that you're going the wrong way. Okay. So we haven't really gone this way? Very far? Oh man, you ca it's kind of interesting to tell, like the f to, to keep an eye on the fog. I feel like I kind of have to just like let my eyes go unfocused a little bit. Like I'm not looking at anything in particular, I'm just looking like the fog is coming in. There it is. The music I think also kicks up though, I'm pretty sure. This is the coolest experience I've ever had in a video game. I am so in love with this. A 
I feel truly lost already. I feel on the edge of my seat. I feel like if I take one step too far, I have to back up immediately. Somehow the fog is not creeping in this way. But I, I'm very nervous that if I go too far, it will. I'm kind of along the coast here, looking at the map. I think I have to get to the center, though. So how would I do that? Can I start angling that way? The thing is, the minute I start going the wrong way, if I overstep, I'm probably... No? Okay. So maybe it's not that there's only one path forward. Maybe it is that there is just some things not... So, some places are, like, off limits, and that's it. Shrine nearby. Interesting. I mean, I would think it would be at the center of this thing, so I'm just going to go ahead and mark that off. Uh, turn it off. Okay, we do have a, a thing right here, which kind of leads this way. My heart is, like, pounding in my chest doing this. I... Like, I, I'm sure if you've played this already, there's, like, a mechanism or something you understand about the world tier that takes... That, that you're like, Ryan, just do this, just do that. Um... But to me, coming into this completely blind, at any any step that I take, the mist could circle around me. Oh my god, are they dancing? Why are they dancing? The two the two birds were dancing, and it's a uh, it's wild, absolutely wild to experience it. Can I set you on fire? Oh, Hestu's gonna be pissed. I bet Hestu is inside of this forest. What is the the Korok Forest? This is called the Lost Wood and then the Great Hyrule Forest. It doesn't say anything other than that. Still, I have to feel like this is the Korok Forest. The mist has stopped. God, this is magic. There's music in the background. I'm gonna take I'm gonna put my torch out. Oh my god, those are Koroks! Oh my god. I love it here. I'm gonna cry. I love this so much. They're disappearing. Oh I love this so much. Wow. Oh. There's so many of them. There looks to be a, sto uh, a sword there. And they keep disappearing the closer I get. Uh, have I ever taken a picture of a Korok? Doesn't appear so. I'm going so slowly because I just want to soak this up. The Korok Forest! Underneath that big tree. Wow. This is the coolest moment. The game is kind of lagging here too, which is kind of interesting. I mean, you gotta let me try it, right? What is that? Silent Princess? Interesting. Silent Princess, huh? What is that? Holy shit, look at the number of them just floating over there. 
The music. Who are you? Oh, there's a little shake there. There's a little shimmy. There's butterflies. Link, you are our final hope. Silent princess. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Am I going to be able to pull this sword? I would guess no, right? <sighs> oh! Who is that? Did I doze off again? Hmm? I just got the chills. Well, well, it's you. You finally decided to return. Better late than never. After 100 years, I've nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Even my patience has limits, you know. Yeah. That look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. The Deku Tree. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the I darkness knew it. that only the chosen knight can wield against the Calamity Ganon. What do I have to do to get it? Not, it was actually you who wielded that sword. Me? 100 years ago. No way. But I must warn you to take extreme caution. Ooh. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. Possess it? I just want to borrow it. As I don't want to... Ah, just let me have it for a couple I days. I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. I don't, own, I don't earn it yet. Okay. If you sought to free the sword in any sort of weakened state, you would surely lose your <laughs> life where you stand. <laughs> That's incredible. The Koroks are acting it out. Best of luck, young one. In any sort of weakened state. Oh my god, I'm I'm actually tearing up. This is so beautiful. Hmm. The sword cares not for your physical might. It is moved by what lies within. Your character? It cuts through bravado and superficial enhancements. Only true strength can draw it from its resting place. The only way to know if you have what it takes is to try. This is so mother fucking cool. Holy shit. I am in love. Through the lost woods and deep within the Korok forest sleeps the sword that seals the darkness, a weapon said to be capable of striking down the calamity. That you came to claim the sword, the Deku tree told you the blade would test you. Although you wielded it 100 years ago, can you pull the sword out in your current state? I'm guessing no. <laughs> Right? Like, there's no way. I think I'm going to die. I think this is the end. So just prep your 07s in the comments down below. I don't like the looks of this. <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> yep. We have seven hearts. We got it part of the way. Okay. I don't know if it stopped me. I don't know if the game stopped me from holding down there or if I timed that correctly. But I did. I just want to say this for the record. I let go of it the minute we were at one quarter heart. I think it's possible that the game was like, enough. You would have killed yourself. That's kind of how this dialogue suggests. But uh, I also let go just because I was, I was convinced we wouldn't have enough. Prepare before you try again, for I will not stay your hand partway through next time. Okay, so it did. It, it answers the question for me. Interesting. The I knew what it was going to be immediately. 
because there's the line about uh, bravado and super uh, superficial enhancements or something like that. Okay, so seven is not enough. And I'll be honest with you, it didn't move very much. It moved once, so I'm guessing we have to move it a couple times. I'm guessing we need a little bit more than uh than seven uh than seven hearts. Oh my god. Just a reminder, this playthrough is very blind. Uh please don't write any comments down below that try and give me any information that I don't have from the game already. And frankly, even if the game already gave me some information, please don't try and tell me. For instance, there's been a couple comments recently about how, uh, Ryan, you're really going to regret not having more hearts. Ryan, you're going to regret not having more hearts. Uh, you know, just let me piece it together or, or, or not on my own, please. I would really appreciate it. Uh, I wonder how many it's going to take. That's a rhetorical question. Please don't answer that. I do wonder how many it's going to take. Who are you? I have so many questions. I have so much I want to do. Can I run up this route to talk to you face to face? I want to talk to the little one. I, know, I want to know where Hestu is. I want to explore this entire area. Can I move here? Can I live here? I would like to live here with you. You can't talk. The sword cares not for your physical might. It's moved by what lies within. I really thought he was going to say like, uh, minor spoilers for The Witcher 3 incoming. So skip ahead 30 seconds if you don't want a spoiler for The Witcher 3. There's this incredible quest in The Witcher 3 where you get a sword if you have uh, showed off that you have you have these like five virtues and each of the, that's basically five check boxes that get checked depending on a certain number of quests that you do in certain ways. I thought this was going to be like that where it's like have you helped people out from being attacked by bandits or by monsters? Have you, uh, you know, and instead it's like, nah, you need hearts. <laughs> like you just need HP. Which I think is kind of funny. Only uh, way to know is to try. Sure. Uh, hey, there's a shrine right there. How many spirit orbs do I have? I don't think I have more than two. I have one. All right, I got so many questions. First off, hello, who are you? Peaks. It's 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 Mr. Hero. Yeah, ha, ha Mr. Hero came to visit us in the forest. What took you so long? <laughs> Peaks thought of a trial that will make Mr. Hero stronger. You won't have to fight, and it's not scary, but you'll need to be extra careful. I want to see a bloopy. <gasps> I know what that is. It's a blue pea kachu. It's the thing we saw. Find blue feet, blue pea? Or peaks. It glows in the dark, it's blue. It's peaks' size, it's the blue rabbits. Even if it's just a picture. Okay. Shit, I didn't get a picture. Call bloopies. I wonder how glowy they are. Aren't you curious? Show me a bloopy. I'll thank you with a gift. Is it going to be a piece of shit? Is it going to be a Korok thingy? I love this area. I'm so excited. Will it give me any clue on the map? I'm guessing not. Yeah, it does not. Okay. Cool. That's fair. Uh, who are you? Chio, huh? You, could it be? You're Mr. Hero. Mr. Hero is here. I love that, by the way. Mr. Hero, that's so cute. The mushroom on my head suddenly sprouted today, so I knew something was up. It was a prediction that you would come, I think. It might just be an infection. Us Koroks all got together and prepared some trials just for you, Mr. Hero. If you pass the very tough trials... Pulling out the Master Sword will be a piece of cake. Probably. <laughs> Among the trials is an extra tough one designed by me, the Elder of the Korok Forest. Doing a little dancey dance while you talk to me. You put your left foot in, you put your right foot, you put left foot, you put your right foot in. Will you test your metal? Uh, yes please. What are they though? 
Long story short, you need to visit all the shrines in the Korok Forest so that you can be considered a real grown-up. Grown-up. It's a ceremony every Korok must undertake. It's based on the trials of the legendary hero himself. I've done it, and so has Hestu. And him over there, and her too, and even the great Deku Tree himself. Hey, wait, speaking of Hestu, where is that mother... Where is Hestu? Southwest. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, I'm gonna write these down just in case. Um, just the directions. Southwest is second site. So it's northwest. Okay, so it's it's just gonna be four different ones. Nope. There's east. Okay. Just those three. Okay. I'll do it for sure. I'll do it. I love this. Okay, so who else has some trials for me? Do you also have a trial for me? Are you the hero? Welcome to Korok Forest. You're much cooler looking than I thought you'd be. To be sure you're up to the task at hand, I prepared a trial. I'll do it. A rod with the power of ice. You need an ice rod? Shit, okay. I had one of those at one point. Let me write this down, too. Ice Rod for Kula. I know these are probably also in, all going to be in my adventure log, but... Okay, sure. Freezing Rod. Got it. I got to know what this is. Is it just a lantern made of peas? It is a lantern made of peas. My game's kind of getting a little bit uh, laggy in this area. Probably based on the number of individual Koroks standing around. Hey, there he is! There they are. Shalaka! It's you, we meet again. What's with the silent treatment? Don't you remember me? I'm the musician of Korok Forest, Hestu. I'm impressed you found your way through the Lost Woods and made it here. Have you brought me any Korok seeds? I sure have. Uh, I would like a weapon stash, and I'd like a couple of them. You need 17? I'm only going to get two inventory slots. Shit. Oh, no. It's better than the cooking song. It's truly better than the cooking song. Dun, 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 dun. Can I just pay you some money? Can I just give you 10,000 10, rupees? Would that work? I want another weapon stash. I know, I... 25? It went up by a lot. I misremembered how much it went up by. Shit. Ugh. Oh. Do one more shield. I just need one Korok seed. Oh, the maracas are blue. Incredible. Incredible. Okay. Let's see if we can do one bow as well. One bow. Two Korok seeds? Sure. And then it's green. The maracas change. I thought that's what was happening. They changed color. Based on what item? Look at that. I don't honestly need that many bows. I probably shouldn't have taken that one. I probably should have saved my two. This is going to be 25 still? Okay, fine. Shaka, how sad? Lower your fucking prices! Uh, you pointy nose, big eyebrowed. Goddamn beautiful broccoli motherfucker. Lower your prices. Oh man. I love this. I love Hestu. Uh oh, we should go over to that uh to that uh 
shrine because we can't a tree branch. Great, that's what I wanted. Then we can fast travel here too. Ooh, the game is lagging in here. Here's the thing I want to do though. I want to, if there's any other Koroks, I want to talk to them. Those are paths out, it looks like. Koroks that will let me talk to them anyways. These won't, these won't. Because if I can talk to them, then I can get a quest from them. Okay, you all disappear. Do you disappear? You disappear. Kula I already talked to. Nope, that's just another tree branch. Okay. All right, well, let's go do this trial. That's peaks. Oh, it is laggy over here. Right here. The Kyo Rug Shrine. God, the music in the forest is so good, too. Wow. Are Koroks in... This is a very minor question, and I don't want to know too much information because I, I hope to play other Zelda games before too long. However, I would like to know a little bit of information on this subject. So if you want to write a comment down below, please do on this topic. Are Koroks in other games? I feel like they have such a big role in this game, but this is a very oh they, like they they solve they they like play this role of like puzzles in the op in an open world area and i i kind of struggle to see how they would be involved in games that are more linear but i also have not played any of the other games so i obviously i know that i don't know much Yeah, I don't know. I'm wondering if Koroks have a, a much smaller role in the other games or if they're just not even included or like just vaguely mentioned. Oh my God, I want to stay in the Korok forest forever. <laughs> I want to be here forever. Okay. <clears throat> Fateful stars. We've got the constellations here. Is that what you mean by stars? Five, four, three, two, one. What does this say? Look to the stars for... They are constellations. The constellations are the key. There's a constellation on every one of these. There's only four balls. Hey, when you say they are the key, this one has three, and it's kind of a C shape. This one has seven, and it's kind of a seven and then an S. Are those same shapes over in this area? Yes. I can see they're they're curved a little bit though. I'm just gonna toss one over and see what happens when it lands inside of a thing. Okay, nothing has happened. I thought maybe one of those would change colors. I thought maybe one of those would change colors. Okay. Okay, we need to open the door. Okay, it doesn't say anything here. They're labeled 54321. Okay, there's two of the this this thing right here, there's two of them. One right here and one up here. Is it the number? There are five of the one variety. Okay, I, it's the number. There's five of this small seven C shape. Beautiful. There are two of the far one. There are 
There's two of this one. It appears that there's one. This is it for sure. There's one of these. And there are one, two, three. Three of this. Let's go. Let's go. I love a good puzzle. Holy shit. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> I was going to try and uh, shield surf down the stairs. Oh, hello. There's a second one. Let's go. All right. We got, we got two of the massively complex one. Two of the massively complex ones. So this one should go here. I think there was one of this one, if I'm remembering correctly. I'll double check that. Uh, there was only one, yes. So there are two of the 7S and four so two and four. Okay. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I thought maybe I could just throw it. Five, two, and then four. I hope it doesn't close this door, though. It didn't. Cool. All right. What do we have here? It's gonna be a weapon that I don't want. Uh, I'll take it. That might be one of the first things that I throw away, but I'll take it. This was fun. I liked this. I liked this shrine a lot. I liked it a lot. Man, I really did not. So here's my thought. <laughs> I really did not get the vibe that the, uh, I have so many questions right now. Holy shit. Okay, I'm gonna try and list them all and talk through them all. Blind reactions to finding the master sword, the sword that seals away the darkness. The mechanism by which I get the master sword and Korok Forest. All of that together. Uh, the entrance to Korok Forest was the coolest moment in this game for me so far. I think. Like, like I, tr I truly don't know of a cooler moment. Like, the mist swallowing you is so cool. So well done. And so, like, you just get the idea. I knew that it was going to be, like, a fairy, a fae kind of presence. The swirling dust motes, the, like, the trees... Um, sort of looking haunting. I still don't know exactly how I solved the quote-unquote puzzle of getting in here. Like, I just basically didn't go this way. And and if I went too far this way, I think I just basically had to head for this, this little gap. And if I didn't head for the gap, then I was maybe going to die. There's that. Or, or I don't, I don't, and I don't know that that's how it worked, but that's my guess. Uh, the Mary little frog. Shit, I missed you. I don't get the vibe from the uh, from the scene where I was, you know, attempting to pull it out that I was all that close. I think I'm gonna need uh, at least ten hearts and maybe more. And so I don't know that we're going to. Uh, get it by just completing four shrines because that would put me at eight or completing two more shrines of the at least three that are here i think that would put me at like eight hearts if i took hearts which does not put me particularly close i think it's at least 10 just to just to guess based on the thing the, the cutscene 
Um, so that's gonna be a long time. That's, I mean, we're already doing every shrine that we see, but that's gonna be a little while, I think. Um, however, there was something else I was gonna say too. Uh, that's great. I love having that to, to look forward to. Uh, yeah, that's cool with me. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say. Uh, let's try and take some of these paths. Like, there's sort of a path here. Let's just see what happens when we follow it. See what else we can find. The other thing is that the coral forest still looks very large. So it's like... Another coral cleave. Incredible. Uh, does that mean that I should use it on something? If it's just going to lay here... Kind of makes me feel like I should use it. Ooh, I know what else I was thinking. Can I climb this enormous tree? I want to. Can I? Kind of looks like it. Let's try it. Uh-oh. That's the scary music. Oh, it's blood moon, blood moon music. That's all right. The blood moon can't touch me. I'm safe. I'm, sa I'm safe with the fairies. I hope. I hope that cutscene doesn't knock me off the tree. That would really suck. Right? There's no way, right? Blood moons have the worst timing, if that's true. Okay, nope. You know what else I'm sitting here thinking? What are these? General store? And an inn? What? I didn't see... What? I didn't see that. No, spoiler game. Spoiler. Chill. There's a big-ass branch over there. <sighs> We're putting on our stinky stuff. I cannot believe this game. How is this game real? What are these? They're pots. Okay, I shouldn't throw them though because there's fairies over here that I'm trying not to scare. There's a Korok here. Are you the general store? Stealing fairies from the sky? Like a terrible person? But I love the fairies. I want them inside of my pockets. Come here, come here. Incredible. All right. Acorns? Ooh, of course the Korogs store acorns in their pots. What else? This is how you get a million acorns. Nothing? Okay. Ooh, a Chickaloo tree nut. Okay. You know what I definitely need to be doing? Taking more photos. Does any of this shit get... The rush room above you? Okay. Does any of this stuff get a... Uh... Get captured in the compendium? Don't mind me, just gonna break a bunch of pots? Oh, I think that was a truffle. Holy shit. Ah, I tossed it off the edge. That was the wrong way. That one probably had something super valuable in it. That one actually had a copy of the uh, sword that seals away, ch chases away the darkness, as they say. Wake up? What's up, homie? Wake up. Walton? Really? There's a Korok named Walton? Why does this Korok have the most Midwestern farmer name? What the heck? I was having such a nice dream. 
Wait, if you're here, does this mean you want to face the ultimate trial? Sure. The ultimate trial has begun. I'll tell you a riddle about an object. Your job is to solve the riddle. Bring me the correct... Oh, God. Small, red, round, and sweet. Bring me one of this simple treat. Okay. I mean, I think it's this, right? It's got to be the easiest riddle of all time. It's an apple. That's it. That's it. You got it. The next riddle. Oh, there's many. Okay. Kakariko Village's specialty fruit. Rock hard flesh is quite resolute. Kakariko has the, uh, the pumpkins, right? Wait, what is it? What is it? Wait, 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 wait. What does it have? This is also from there. I think. I think Endura carrots are from there. Not a palm fruit. I think it's the pumpkins, but I don't have any. I'm 99% sure it's a pumpkin. I'm going to write that down. Okay. Interesting. Well, I can't do that one just yet. Do I have this, uh... This mushroom? I think I could have gotten it, but... Uh, okay. Cool. Well... Are you living up here in... In... The... The tree's hair? Like, you're in the tree's, like, hairline up here. Feels a little dangerous. Feels a little bit like an invasion of privacy, really. Anyways. We were right over here. Ooh, what I thought was a path out is just a circle around, it looks like. Okay, that's fine. Hello? Endura Shroom. I didn't mean to do that. It's so funny to be among the Koroks and to not be solving, like, normal Korok puzzles, but instead be doing, like, these trials, you know? Oh, this music is so cool. Like, I'm not just solving, like, little puzzles of landscape. I'm solving, uh... This music... Hello. Hi, friend. You're disappearing. Cool. So this should take me to one of the, uh... Friends. I don't have... You're right there. I don't have my torch out. Is that a gloopy? No, that's a blue nightshade. Never mind. Or a bloopy, sorry. Tasha says, oh, you're Mr. Hero, right? You're going to do the Korok trial, yes, yes? I knew it. I'd like to ask you a favor then. My little Oki just now set off to do the Korok trial. Normally, I'd go along too, but Oki insisted on going alone. Oh, sorry, I'd go along. I may have read that correctly. I let Oki go, but I'm just getting worried. Yeah, ha ha. Could you please follow Oki without being seen? I want to be sure nothing bad happens. I got my stealth suit on already. Don't get caught by Oki. Sure. Follow Oki. Where is Oki? Is that Oki? I'm sneaky. The trial is this way, right? Without being seen seems a little bit harder than without being heard. 
What was that? You can't see anything. Okay, all right, this is... Hilarious. Okay, you're sprinting a little bit fast, Oki. I remember this tree. This is so cute. Holy shit. The blue nightshade is serving as like a... This is where you should go. I really like... In case you miss Oki, you still have the... Oh, right there. Okay. All right, all right. I don't want to get any closer. Not yet. The little waddle. Okay, you went around the corner of this thing right here. The little waddle and the shake. The bees, can I help you? This is the right way. Are you going to get attacked by this bee? I need to not be attacked by the bee. This is the cutest quest of all time. Let me just fall off from the sky there. What was that? Okay, you have a question mark above your head. Is this a coral leaf? What is this? Tree branch here? Okay. Yeah, branch fell from the sky. Damn. Pretty flowers? Sure. Please don't come towards me. No? Okay. Half oh, halfway there? Nice. Thank you for the update. Okay, you're going in the little branch. The, the hollowed out stump. Call it out, uh, uh, log. Words are tough. I feel like I could just go around the outside. Which way are you turning? Okay, yep, you went to the right, which is good, because I went to the left. This is so much fun. I'm completely immersed. I am utterly immersed. Someone there? No. A ghost? Run towards me. It's just a shadow. <laughs> Ain't this like parenting as a, a person who's not a parent? Like, are, you know, you really want to just help Oki get there and just do it for him. But like, no, Oki's got to face their own demons. You know, they got to they gotta face their fear of that random ghost that was actually just a shadow. You know, our goal is just to hover without being a helicopter parent. I'm not scared one bit. You're sprinting. Why are you going so fast? Why are you going so fast? Okay, I'm a little bit scared. Okay. We're on the spectrum of fear. We're wobbling hard between one end of the spectrum and the other. <gasps> a wolf. A ghost? Wait, 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 wait. You said, help me, Mr. Hero. Did you mean that rhetorically? Were you praying to the god of Mr. Hero? I was gonna kill the wolf for you. Oh, shit. Oh. All right, so good news. Now I'm less immersed. <laughs> okay, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, We'll just stay kind of far away, I think. We know what to expect now for most of the, most of the stuff. Including the moment where they'll run back towards us, feature, uh, 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 
following that that wolf. I thought I actually needed to step in and and save you. I feel bad. Everything is a okay. Okay, we're gonna go faster this time. I think Oki will too for at least parts of it. Okay. There's some parts where you like turn around a little bit. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, you're right in front of me. Shit, okay. That's really funny. I was just talking. <laughs> I was doing so well and then uh got a little impatient. That's okay. We'll get it this time, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, ha ha. This is the right way. There's the bees, which I avoid. You don't see anything. I think you're coming this way, right? Yeah? Yeah, because you're going right for that log. I'll just stay on the other side of the tree of you. The tree branch fell from the sky. For sure, for sure. Okay, you go for the log. I'll come on the left side of the log. Oki is coming of age. Yeah. Halfway there. Wait. I keep thinking I'm going to find stuff in the inside of these uh, trees. Maybe I will someday. Oh my god, Oki is so cute. They look around. Okay. Over this part, we I stayed to the right. I could try the left again here for this time. I don't think it was super far up here before the... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, you son of a... Oh, that's on me. All right, I'm going to do one more. One more attempt. Huh? You don't see anything. Hmm? Me? Oh, did you hear me? So you heard me, so you got interested, so you started coming this way? Is not good. Okay, what are you doing? Oh my god, this is so tense. Okay, so you can't be too loud or else he uh they uh they get curious and they come over. Oh man, the sheer hubris of that last attempt. I tried something new and I shouldn't have tried something new. <laughs> it's like it's my confidence is doing it to me. My confidence got me during the uh the climbing trial too. The super gutsy one. I shouldn't have been so gutsy. Ironically, in the super gutsy challenge, I should have been less gutsy. Okay, you're very quick, sure. I remember this tree. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. 
I'm glad we're wearing the stealth armor. I think that's helping. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't matter at all. But I'm pretty sure it's the sound that you make that I made that uh, turned uh, Oki around that last time. Or at the start of this trial. Yeah. This is the right way. Now you should go left from here. Third time's a charm on this one. I can go through this little gap here. I've done it in the past. Okay. That was the tree branch, not me. Now you go towards the big old log. Okay. Left into the log. Ooh, pretty flowers. Sure. <laughs> it's a good thing it's so damn cute. Cool. I think I could probably also go on the right-hand side of this log if I was just careful, but we're going to go on the left. Left has worked for us in the past. Especially if we're quiet. Okay, so here we do need to go a little bit to the right and not to the left into the, into the mist. Ghost. Yeah, I don't know where you went. Yep, there you are. Beautiful. Just a shadow, sure. And then you get the uh the wolf before too long. Don't know exactly how to help with that, but I'll try. Apparently just stay pretty far back. This isn't too bad. I'm not scared. Okay, I'm a little bit scared. I know what we should do. We should save right here. This is a great place to save. Shit, I can't tell where you went. Okay, you're just to the left of that blue flower. Here's the wolf. I didn't mean to shoot that. Did I kill it? I did kill it. I literally didn't even mean to shoot it. Wait, where'd you go? Shit, I can't hear. Wait, now I can hear. But where are you? Wait, wait, wait. There's the shrine. Okay, okay, okay. You're gonna make it. Imagine out of the darkness a wolf comes and rips this Korok to shreds. Just kidding, that's terrible. I'm still hidden, but I'm close enough that I don't think I'm in any danger of like missing out on the quest. You made it. Yay. Should I do something? They're dancing. Okay. I think I'm good to approach now. Oh, hello. I also individually made it separately myself. I wasn't following you. What do you mean? What? Who's there? Are you that hero guy? You know, Mr. Hero? 
Guess what, Mr. Hero? I did the trial all by myself. Aren't I brave? Oh yeah, you're probably here for the shrine. The great Deku Tree said that's what the monk that the monk's blessing is waiting in the shrine ahead. Why don't you go take a look? I will. However, I'm gonna have to do it during the next episode. Now that I've finished the trial, I'm the real deal. Uh, so hey, here's how this is gonna work. Uh, that's the end of our episode here at noon. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. There's going to be another episode at 6 p.m. However, I have separate plans for what's happening at 6 p.m. So uh, we're going to pause here. I'm going to go record a different episode, and, and you'll see later that the episode has... I have, I'm have. i just going to go do some like basic bonus stuff that I've kind of wanted to do for a while. Um, we'll do one episode that way, and then I'll come back here for tomorrow, Friday's episode. If that makes sense. Like today, this is episode... 61. Episode 62 is going to be a bonus episode where we just go do some stuff. I have some exciting things planned, but uh, we're going to do some bonusy type of things. And then uh, episode 63, which is uh, tomorrow at noon. We'll be back here and we'll continue. So I'm going to hit this so that we have a, uh, a fast travel. And then I'll come back here in just a little bit uh, during the next non-bonus episode. Anyways, I hope that makes sense. Uh... <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this episode. Hey, you're nearly there. You've almost made it to the end of the uh, of the wait for Tears of the Kingdom. Quick, massive shout out to our most recent Patreon supporter, Mark K. Mark, thanks so much for, for the support. I burped. I appreciate you greatly. Thanks for uh, supporting this dream of mine of making blind playthroughs of lovely video games and getting to share them with uh, whoever wants to watch them. So thank you very much. Um, that will be it for this episode. If you liked this, if you've enjoyed this ride so far on the wait for Tears of the Kingdom, uh, you can like and leave a, a positive comment down below. Um, I will see you at 6 p.m. and then also again tomorrow. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.